There are no right things to do in life. If you choose something and put everything that you have into it, it will become a great thing. Is it the right thing? Is it the best thing? When you say, is it the right thing, what you're asking is, is it the best thing to do in life? There is no best thing to do in life. Anything that you take up and if you put your heart and soul into it, it becomes a great thing. Is it the best thing? No. Then what is the best thing? There is no such thing. Don't look at yourself as a, a Delhiite or an idiot, whatever you want to call yourself. If you're just a piece of life, hmm? Hello? And today you're here, one day you'll be poop, gone. You're a brief life. I wanted to just imagine, you've seen those insects which come when it rains, you know, ants which fly. Suppose you were that. You just came alive, poop, 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 and poop, gone. That's what you are. Just compared to the span of your life, the insect's life is looking so meaningless and poop, 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 and gone. That's what the rivers are thinking about you. Poop, 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 and gone. Yes or no? Compared to their lifespan, you are just like that insect or less than that insect, isn't it so? I am not somebody who ever deba debated, is this the right thing to do in my life? What was needed, I jumped into it. Because if you are a constipated life, you will always be thinking, about what to do, what not to do, what to do, what not to do, what is my passion, what is not my passion. Why the hell are you not passionate about everything? Hello? Yes. Why are you not passionate about everything in the existence? You're only passionate about one thing, means what? You're constipated, that's what it means. Idiots do things that they don't like to do, suffer for their whole life because they think it's needed or they think it's their duty. Intelligent people do what they love to do. They enjoy their life to some extent. But a genius learns to do what is needed joyfully. That's when your genius flowers because it's no more about you. Now there's a limitless way of looking at life. If you try to control the variety of situations that may pop up in your face tomorrow morning, all that will happen is you will become a very limited life. You would step out into the world and do whatever that needs to be done, only if you have an assurance, no matter what you walk into, you will not lose yourself. You will walk full stride, otherwise you'll only be a half a step. Most human beings are half steps because the fear of suffering, if this happens, what will happen to me? That happens, what will happen to me? If you're well managed within yourself, you know how to manage your thought, you know how to manage your emotion, you know how to manage your body, your chemistry, your energy. If you know how to manage all this, what does it matter if you walk into hell, I'm asking? If you are well managed, if you are a heaven within you, what does it matter where you go? Hell also will be an interesting place to go. But if you are ill-managed, then you want to be in a nice place all the time. You will not step out into anything. I am not saying this is wrong. This is against nature because in nature, every life is aspiring to be as much as it can be, isn't it? Every life is naturally aspiring, this is not a philosophy. This is not an ideology that you must do this or that. It is natural and intrinsic for every life that it will do as much as it can. From an earthworm, from a worm to an insect to a bird to an animal to a tree, every one of them are trying to be full-fledged life. Let's get some motivational gains today in today's Discount Therapy. Gains. Get your inspirational Woihoi at shirtharmony.com. Link in the description below. Check out my new book, Serve, The Rulebook, 
step-by-step -step rules for a fast execution on a new mindset. Link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back next week. See ya.